Good morning, the bike glass here. How's it going? Good morning, yeah, really good. Really great. I can't well, complain. I should myself. High end I Mercury Prize nominated Navaya. Thank you that. so much. How does it feel? It feels like phenomenal. I feel just waves of emotion. I'm like, this is happening. This is happening. <laughs> you know, I'm just like very excited to be here and very thankful. Um, where were you when you found out? What was that like when you got the nod, got the call? I was at home and I honestly just you know when you just like did that did you just say that to me is this real um so yeah i was like chilling out at home and and then just like went into shock in a really beautiful way <laughs> um and what do you think it is about your album that's kind of landed you here like how is it perhaps connected with people what do you think in your opinion has kind of led to this place where we are today oh good question i would love to ask <laughs> someone um i think maybe it's it's just an honest record, you know, it's, it sounds like me and I think because I've got so many influences, I think maybe people are drawn to those specific in, uh, influences and then stay for the other tunes, <laughs> maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm, I would love to, I would love to know. <laughs> And like sonically, what were you perhaps trying to achieve with the album? Or like, what was it going? Mm. What, where is its kind of a place in jazz in the year 2021? Do you think? Sonically, I, like I said, I was trying to embody as much as I could in terms of what I've listened to up until I started writing, um, and that's so many different genres of music, and I kind of wanted to make something that encompassed, encompassed all of those so it wasn't you know it was a different kind of jazz album I guess it wasn't a traditional jazz album but I love traditional jazz you know and I always will I'm brought up in the jazz idiom however I was also brought up on dub and I also listened to classical music and I also found cumbia very like recently and so it was just like a kind of fusing of everything really um, and me <laughs> Do you think that's helped perhaps like modernise jazz and bring it to a new audience when you're kind of fusing, as you say, mixing yeah. these things that like, kind of opens it up to a whole new crowd? Absolutely, absolutely. I think um, it's challenging what music in general can be. That's really important. It's challenging what particular genre of music that you're talking about can be. And I think as those kind of barriers are like melting a little bit, it's only going to involve more people and that's the goal, you know, to involve more people, to connect more people, to share energy in the room at all these gigs with more people um, so that we can become closer, you know. You mentioned gigs, I'm guessing, you know, you haven't had a chance to do too many of those in the last year. Have you played no. any social distance shows, if any? Or has I did one social distance show that was phenomenal at the Barbican um, and that was back in October and that was the first play at time one of the only times I've played the album live and I have two shows this weekend um, which is amazing at Latitude and then the proms in a couple of weeks so it's like it's all coming like back which is great and um, I can't wait to start the next leg of the journey of this album which is playing it live getting to reimagine it every single time we play like that's what I love about improvised music um, so yeah I can't wait <laughs> Do you feel like any apprehension around, you know, the obvious risks of playing and show in this environment? Is there like any fear of like going back? Or how do you feel about it? I don't feel any fear. Like I feel really over ready, <laughs> if that's possible. Just because like, you know, I went from being on the tour, on tour for three, for two or three years, pretty much consistently to then like nothing. And at the beginning I was like, oh great, you know, like I needed a break. And then I was actually like, no, but this is how I express what I see going on in the world. This is how I express how I feel that day. I'm, I want to write a tune about this and then play it and change it and all of this stuff. Like it's how things, it's how I grow. Um, as a person and as a musician. So I'm very excited to get back to that. That is like, I feel very comfortable on stage. Um, and it took a while to get there from being like a shy kid, but I think it's like, you know, one of my homes playing music. Um, you know, jazz has been somewhat of a mainstay at Mercury's in the recent years. We've had Sons of Kemet nominated, um, but obviously a jazz act is yet to win. Do you feel like you could be the one to buck the trend? Speak it into existence. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, there's a uh, 25 grand prize, should you win. Where's that money going? What are you going to do? 
Oh, I'm going to have to think about that and get back to you. Amazing. All right. Well, thanks so much. Good luck. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you so have much. See you.